You're watching Life on Video. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Life on Video. Today, we're at the Odyssey Aquarium in Scottsdale, Arizona. When making your way to the aquarium, you'll actually come through this area first. This area is formerly known as the Arizona Boardwalk. There are multiple attractions here, such as Ripley's Believe It or Not, Pangea, Dinosaur Exhibit, and there are also some places to eat. You do have to select an entry time for the aquarium, but the nice thing is you just show up at your entry time, and when that time comes, they will start filtering the queue into the exhibit. Once you make it inside the exhibit, your mood is immediately changed. You're met with these awesome aquatic vibes that are getting you ready to embark on this journey through this awesome aquarium. One exhibit that people often miss are these 2017 award-winning bathrooms. This is a must-see attraction. These bathrooms are absolutely next level and they really set the tone for what you're about to experience in this aquarium. Once we made it to the top of the escalator, we saw this team member inside of the tank scrubbing away. Now what this tells me is that they value cleanliness and as you'll see throughout the video, these tanks and exhibits are absolutely sparkling clean. One of my favorite things about this aquarium is the realism to each nature scene. It seems almost as if they're not only wanting to show off the animals, but also wanting to showcase the habitats in which these animals can be found. This is another quality example of showcasing the habitat and the different type of trout that you can find in this habitat. I mean, just the fact that they have this running stream, the trout are swimming upstream, and they're just below the surface of the water like you would find trout in a natural habitat. One thing I'm a fan of when it comes to aquariums, as I'm sure many of you are, is seeing the many different fish that you've only ever seen on the Animal Planet channel. For example, like this paddlefish right here. I know they exist, I've just never seen them in the wild. Another thing this aquarium does that I think is pretty cool is they have really neat groupings of fish. For example, this tank right here. These are all fish that you would commonly find in the Amazon, swimming, living together in that ecosystem. And the idea that they're able to bring this ecosystem together and show us what an underwater view of the Amazon would look like is absolutely next level. Here we have a few cool exhibits that put on display some uncommon aquatic life that we know of, but don't commonly see in the wild. This first exhibit is showing you what a river ray looks like. This exhibit holds what my kids think is the coolest creature in the water, the electric eel. I believe they think it's cool just like every other kid because of the tantalizing capabilities that you never see it use. Another aspect to Odyssey Aquarium that makes them unique is they display some of the wildlife you can find here in Arizona, like these Gila monsters. They're not aquatic life, but they are deadly and fun to look at. Along with the Gila monsters, they do have other animal life here that's not involved with marine or aquatic life, like this toucan or these parrots. And they also have a sloth here as well that you can see moping around his enclosure. I filmed this video at the beginning of April 2021, so we're still in the middle of COVID, but you can see everything socially distanced, marked, and everybody had plenty of space to stay away from each other. This is another cool aspect of the Odyssey Aquarium. Scuba gear in the back, because this tank offers scuba diving. The scuba diving experience is roughly 20 to 25 minutes inside a fully enclosed helmet under the water in this enclosure. 
and the experience runs about $99. Immediately behind the scuba tank, they do have these tidal touch pools. Even with COVID, they were allowing everybody to reach in and touch and partake in the tide pool. The main requirements were you had to wash your hands before you touched, stay in the designated area for your group, and then wash your hands after you touch. And they have sinks on one side, which is at the entry, as well as they have hand sanitizing stations on both the entry and the exit. There is a team member overseeing all of the touching in the tide pool to ensure that no one is harming anything inside the tide pool. And he did tell us that we were more than welcome to touch the sea urchins, but eh, didn't want to risk it. Here, like many aquariums, they do have a touch pool for stingrays. The big difference with this touch pool to many other stingray touch pools I've been to is you actually don't have to pay to touch these stingrays. There is also a team member here overseeing all of the touching to ensure the stingray safety, as well as mandating a touch break every 15 minutes. Immediately next to the stingray touch pool is the cafeteria. You order your food, they give you a digital buzzer that they will call you back up to pick your food up when it's ready, and here we go. We purchased chicken tenders, french fries, and a bacon cheeseburger. Just some classic cafeteria food, but I'll tell you what, they actually have a full cooking staff back there whipping this food up, and this was really good food. As you guys know, we travel a lot and we've had plenty of our share of theme park and attraction food. And this food was actually really quality. I gotta give it to them. Great food. This is really what I want from a place like this because there's really no option to leave and come back to finish your tour. It would just be a big waste of time to leave this place and not actually eat your lunch here. Upon leaving the cafeteria, you're going to run into this area where you can see they have a few virtual reality seats that you can pay to take part in, but they have the more important penguin point here. In my opinion, some of the most active life forms inside of an aquarium are penguins. They're usually very attentive. They're usually at the glass, interacting with the guests, just kind of goofing around and having a good time. A cool element they have here is this underwater viewing porthole of the penguins that the kids can crawl in and get a first-hand underwater look at the penguins. Next, you're gonna take an escalator ride to what they're calling the depths of the ocean. This escalator ride is awesome because as you can see, once you make it to the bottom, you're actually journeying through one of the aquariums that they've built the escalator into. This makes for an amazing transition into the next part of the aquarium. Down here, you're going to find a lot of the aquatic and marine life that lives at the depths of the ocean. That being said, the lighting is a lot darker down here. And the aquatic life is a little bit more interesting. Like this seahorse right here, you're going to see more aquatic sea life down here in the bottom. You're going to see more things that you're familiar with, like this octopus, but unless you're a scuba diver, you'll probably never see this on your average day at the beach. Which isn't a bad thing because most exotic sea life, like this lionfish here, have some type of sting or poison that you honestly don't want to come in contact with. In this exhibit, there actually used to be a show where you would have a seat and they would detail the aquarium and then have a big reveal at the end. But I assume due to COVID, they don't want people grouping up for a show like this. Again, I can't stress enough how amazing the cleanliness is of these different tanks and exhibits. They do such a good job that all of your photos and videography just turns out amazing with the clarity of the glass. This is the Odyssey Voyager, which is kind of the aquarium in the round. 
you go sit in this auditorium over here where you see entrance and the seats rotate around. And this room is built in the center of different aquariums. The cool thing is this is where you exit. And as you exit, you get to come out and get a better look at those aquariums that you were just rotating inside basically. The Odyssey Voyager is honestly a nice way to cap off your trip to the Odyssey Aquarium. It is the world's only experience like this. It's very informative. And honestly, it's a nice way to take a load off after walking around this aquarium for a couple hours. Like most paid exhibits these days, you're gonna exit through the gift shop. I personally am a sucker for gift shops and this gift shop is huge and exceptional. Most attraction gift shops are full of cheap little trinkets and gifts, things that you're gonna buy and either put on a shelf or kids are gonna lose within a day or two. But this gift shop is full of a lot of products that are worthy and quality. Not to mention the amount of eco-friendly products they have in the store, such as those t-shirts such as the different products you can purchase that support a great cause in preserving marine life, aquatic life all over the world. Upon exiting the gift shop, you are on the second level of the Arizona Boardwalk. So you walk out and you get this great view and you can take a stroll around the boardwalk if you want. And that's gonna do it from the Odyssey Aquarium here in Scottsdale, Arizona. What a fun, fun attraction. Bring the family, bring the kids. It's a blast. The wait was a little long to get in, but it's honestly worth it because when you're in, you just have free range of your time in there and you can stay in as long as you want. Had a blast for sure. Thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for more content here on Lifelong Video. Later.